All right. Now, we're going to pay these people differently than they've ever been paid before. We're going to pay them in a way that says, um, we're going to give you an average. In Nashville, Tennessee, for an IT uh, manager with 10 years of experience, you're going to make X amount of dollars. I mean, if you go somewhere else, you might make more. If you go somewhere else, you might make less. But this is the medium we're going to pay toward. But we're going to give you an opportunity to double your salary, just in bonuses and other compensation. Okay, now how are we going to do that? Okay, let's pretend like this project uh, has a team of people. This is a project manager, a marketing person, a worker, a worker, a worker, a temporary person, a temporary person. These people came from here. These people are permanent lifetime employees. We're trying to make lifetime employees because it's really expensive. So we've got to be real selective in doing this. The way they stay lifetime employees is become valuable to the project managers. As long as the project managers want them, they got a job. Okay, that's a promise you make. Now, the moment they become more trouble than they're worth, they're not getting work because these guys won't hire them. Okay? Now, in a bank, think of it this way. You have tellers all over town, right? Well, it doesn't mean you're going to go clock in at one place all the time. Sometimes you need it here, sometimes you need it there, and sometimes you need it there. You're coming out of this pool, but you're, being work you're in whatever group you need to be in. Does that make sense? Okay, so now we're trying to compensate these people differently. So this month we brought in $10,000 uh, in just profit. And we already paid everything we have to pay. We we paid everybody's salary. We paid everything. For this month, we brought in $10,000. Okay? The uh, half of that money will go back to the corporate office to decide how to spend it. Okay? So there's $50,000 left. Profit. I mean, pure profit. Um, paid taxes, paid everything. Half of that amount, 25K, 25K. Half of that amount will go to this group to decide how to spend it on behalf of the company. In other words, at this level, we decided here's the things we need to focus on spending our money. We need some in marketing. We have to have we have to we have to fully fund our Christmas party. <laughs> you know, we have to buy new computers. We have to do other things. Yeah, twenty five thousand dollars this month for this t team to decide where to spend it. You tell us where to spend it. You guys brought it in. You tell us how to spend it. Now, what does that do for that team? Empowers them. Makes them think they own the company. Okay, and then take all of it. Fifty k goes back for these guys to decide what to do. Now the other twenty, the other quarter out of every dollar of profit goes into the pockets of these people. Okay, so you got to create a formula that people can actually calculate how they're going to make a profit from doing good work. Does that make sense? You got to be able to see. You you got to be able to forecast. If I brought in a hundred thousand dollars this year. Uh, this month, I could buy my pool. You know, you got to help people make that connection. You got to use expectancy theory that I know this is going to work this way in order for it to work this way. Okay? All right, now let's, let's say that we got to make it, uh, we got to come up with some way that's logical, right? So let's say as a project manager, you get two times the number of hours you spend in points. So if you spend 100 hours this month, you know, in, in points doing project management, then that gives you 200 points. Okay? As a marketer, we're going to give you 10% off the top plus two times the number of hours you spent doing your work. You sold the project, therefore, you're going to get a benefit for that. Right? You got us a new customer. We're trying to make everybody in our organization a salesperson. And if, and if, and if you can get 10% of of, of residual income for working on projects, you'll call your cousin and say, you know, I know you work at DuPont. We sell something you need. If you can help me contact the people, then this will be a benefit to me. And they'll say, oh, man, I love you. you you're my cousin. You're my favorite cousin. Sure, I'll introduce you to anybody you want. And, and you can get support in doing that. So now these people, one times the number of hours they spend, 
So one times hour spent, one times hour spent, and say maybe a half, because we want, we want to motivate these people too, but we don't want to motivate them the same amount as our permanent employees. Now, if you're this group, what do you want to, to happen? You, you want this company to hire you, because you can potentially double your salary. And so you can get the best people of all the sta temporary staff that you have that wants to go work for your company. If you're, if you're a worker, you're motivated to become a project manager because you get twice the amount of dollars in your pocket. And you're also motivated to go out and find some way to sell this project. If you're an engineer, this is likely to happen because, um, you know, if you can market, this is the concept SCIC was built on. We're trying to build employee ownership into the company, right? Um, so now you add all those up, and that's how you get that's how you get compensated. That was this month. Next month, what are you motivated to do? Make a bigger profit. Now, if somebody's laying down on the job in your team, they're taking quarters out of your pocket. What are you motivated to do? You're motivated to make sure they don't lay down the job or don't get selected for your next project because you have some pull, right? If, if, you're, if you're laying at home at night and you have some free time, what are you thinking about? How to make more profit for your company. How much is the company's paying for that? Nothing. So well, I showed this to a couple of people and said, well, you know, these people get rich doing that in our company. I said, when do you stop it? And I said, okay, let's play this game. I'll give you a dollar for every quarter you give me. When do you want to stop it? It doesn't matter if they get rich, right? And because there's no other game like this in town. And so if, if I can give you a quarter for every dollar you give me, I don't want to stop it. Right? And you're not, it's not, dollars not coming out of your pocket, it's coming out of what you earn, right? Now, I started thinking about this in a couple of different ways. One, 